What's up and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a, another Hot Wheels room vlog. So today we're gonna to be making some more changes and improvements here to the room, hopefully. And one thing was this back wall here, I was thinking could use just a little more spice. It's looking pretty good, but I think it could be spiced up a little bit. So I was thinking of putting up some more cars on the wall and then I saw something on Instagram that definitely inspired me and piqued my interest. And it may or may not involve these two uh, Jada Toys, Tokyo Drift Fast and Furious cars. So before we get too far into it, let's get down to the table and crack these two open. So my setup is definitely not super great for these bigger cars, used to filming these small 164th scale. Uh, but this one here, Hans RX-7, um, this is pretty old. I've had this for quite some time, probably five years. Uh, but this one does come with the minifig. Hopefully, if I can get this out of here, I might have to cut the other side as well. Give me just a minute. Okay, wow, this was, uh, this was in there pretty good, so. Um, but yes, we're gonna get this bad boy open. You're definitely gonna wanna stick around to see what we end up doing with this. I was not prepared at all. Need a screwdriver. Yeah, actually pretty excited to see this up close. I have a bunch of Jada, like the one, I believe they're one thirty second scale, um, but I've never actually opened any of their cars here. So that came off nice and easy. Got some stuff in here to cut. Even comes with the Han minifig and he's got his little snacks in his hand and it has some pretty good weight to it, which is pretty cool. Um, so the main focus of this video is not these, well, I mean, it's kind of about the cars, but not a hundred percent. It does look cool. Got some nice wheel, got the brake rotor detail. Okay, the rear hatch opens up. Got the Fast and Furious license plate, big old exhaust on there. I think, oh yeah, doors open. We got right hand drive. I think you can see some NOS bottles back there. Is the hood open? Okay, I had to get the tool out, but yes, the hood in fact does open. So this is full moving parts here. So you can fully articulate everything. This actually looks really cool with everything open. This car has a lot of weight to it, which is making me a little nervous uh, for what I want to try to do with this, um, but we will see. Next up here, let's crack into DK's 350Z. I actually saw this at Target just a week or two ago. Um, and I usually don't buy any more of this larger scale stuff just because it takes up so much room. But when I saw it, I was like, I just thought the detail and stuff on it was so good uh, that I just could not buy it. All right, these are definitely kind of a little annoying to get out of the package, but man, this one looks so cool. Like I said, I saw this one on the shelf and just could not, could not not buy it. Look at the crazy subwoofer and amp and stuff in the back, the big dual exhaust. You can see like TV screen and the little strut bar back there. Got like a, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a PlayStation like remote on the passenger seat. Oh, the detail on this one is really good. So I just watched Tokyo Drift um, just this last weekend, actually. Oh, there's a there's a sticker. All right, there was a sticker actually holding the hood closed. So I would say the hood detail on the RX-7, or I mean the engine detail definitely was a little bit better, but I think all the other details on here, um, I think do look better. The wheels, the brake calipers, everything looks super sick. All right, well, so enough about these, because like I said, opening these wasn't the whole video it's just a portion of it now while these cars do look pretty good just sitting here on their own i think doing something maybe a little bigger up on the wall might be pretty cool so here 
We have some spray glue, some LED strips, and some fake clouds. Um, so I'll show you the Instagram post that inspired me for this. Uh, I believe it was like Alex Garage. Uh, super, super cool with the car drifting and then the like LEDs in the smoke showing everything. So that is what I want to try to do with these two cars is have them drifting in tandem, uh, just like from the movie and then have the fake clouds with the LEDs lighting it up. And I want to put it right here above the fiercely collecting sign. So my thought is to remove, uh, where's my finger? Remove these cars, keep the original fast. Then the two drift cars will go right above it. And then the drift smoke trail will basically curl this way. And then we'll wrap back around down to the fiercely collecting sign. And I'll just move um, some of the carded cars on the wall out of the smoke trail. And then we'll re put everything up on the wall. But my first big concern is how to mount these cars on the wall and not have them come crashing down on my sign and on all my cars and my garages. Um, Cause these do weigh a good amount and would probably cause some damage. So I'm gonna start removing some cards and start trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for hanging these cars. Okay, that was crazy stressful, um, but the cars are hung up. You can see I removed um, some of the carded cars off the wall. Uh, but they are up, they are up there. It looks pretty crazy. So I think I got it positioned pretty well here. So the cars are in pretty close proximity. It looks like they're doing a pretty cool drift. Got it kind of centered. I feel like fairly good. So I ended up hanging it with just this like aluminum, like hanging wire. And then the cars had this little base that screwed into it that actually held it onto the cardboard. So I screwed this back onto the car and then I ran that wire around this and then just put a drywall screw in there. And so it's just hung on a drywall screw. I'll try to kind of get you back. I don't know if you can see back in there or not, um, but yeah, they are up there. And it's pretty cool, The um, just the shadows from some of the other signs and stuff. Um, you can kind of see it on the wall, but now I'm going to unbox the LEDs and the fake cloud and see what we can do. So I'm going to do a pretty big smoke trail coming off the back here and then circling all the way back around, hopefully. So it should light up a lot of this wall and look super cool. All right, quick little progress update here. Um, oh, I have this. It's set to actually relax, uh, react to music. So that's why it's going all crazy right now. Uh, maybe I will switch it here on the remote to just a, there we go. Leave it on just a solid color so it's not glitching out like crazy there. But this is basically what we got. I did multiple strips of the tape just because I feel like one little strip wasn't really bright enough. Um, and then I started to kind of put some of the cloud on it looks really cool on the video here. It's showing up nice. So I just got to make sure get everything all covered up. So I got my glue and my fake cloud material. So I even did just a like two little strips underneath the cars just to add a little glow under the cars and just kind of keep that light flowing through. I think that's it's not super noticeable, but I think it makes a nice difference just adding just a smidge more light over there. But I'm going to go keep putting up some clouds here and we'll get back to you. And I even started to put just some more cars back up so you'll kind of see. Let me step back here without tripping over stuff. Yeah, I think I thought the cars might be too big, but when you look at it, like the whole overall picture here, um, they look way smaller when you step back, but obviously all up close. They look humongous compared to the Hot Wheels there, but I think it's gonna look good. So wish me luck. Let's go lay down some clouds. So that was actually insanely quick and easy. Uh, I'm very surprised how quick 
putting up that cloud went. I thought it was gonna take a lot longer, but check this out. Looks freaking amazing. I'm so, so stoked on this. So I dimmed the lights in here, um, just to kinda try to give it more of a mood here. I'll actually turn, I guess that doesn't really make too much of a difference, but there it is with the lights off. So we got the furiously collecting LED sign, got all the garages down here. Now we got the Tokyo Drift, drift cars actually up here just putting on the smoke show. Dang, this looks so, so cool. I'll try to get a cool, nice close up here. You can see all the smoke going down. And we got the cord um, just ran down there behind the racing champions car. Then the receiver for the remote is right there. So yeah, everything blended in and tied in pretty seamless. Um, there are the LEDs under the car, so you can just kind of sort of see. Uh, I mean, that didn't really do as much as I thought it might do, but man, this looks so freaking cool. Like once you see the close up and then kind of like pan out and see the full smoke trail. Heck yeah, and I like how it goes down, kind of connects up with the furiously collecting sign. So I think it will look better as well once I get kind of the other cars put up on the wall. I think that looks like really unfinished. So I'll finish up with one more racing champions here, a bunch more premiums here, a bunch more premiums over there. I think it will kind of top it off and fill it up nice. The only other thing I was debating was should I put up some kind of a cone or small like plastic drift barriers to actually make it look like they're drifting around something. That's the only thing that I am contemplating now, or should we just leave it like this? So I will, uh, with the fancy remote here, give you some other like colors here. So there's like green to go with the sign. That actually looks blending in with the furiously collecting sign. That looks pretty sweet. And then red looks pretty menacing. I mean, everything. It's coming up a little weird here, um, just how the phone kind of picks up can't the uh, different colors. And then here's the color change that actually goes with music, but I won't talk, so you can just watch it color shift. All right, well, that is going to do it for today's video here. So, man, I think this was quite the upgrade here to the Furiously Collecting HQ. I mean, Dang, that looks so, so wild. And it's nice to have like with the lights off, have more like just ambient light. So if I am like maybe working on some cards or doing something down here on the mats, there's a bunch of light in the room now. You can see it's kind of lighting up everything over here, but that just looks so dang cool. I can't like stop looking at it. So huge shout out to, I believe it was Alex Garage for giving me this inspiration but I literally, right when I saw that video on Instagram, I ordered this stuff. I was like, I am doing this like immediately. I just thought it would look perfect here in the room. And plus I just watched Tokyo Drift. Uh, so yeah, I think these two cars, you know, I mean, Tokyo Drift was the Drift movie. So I figured these two would be perfect, but enough rambling. I know I'm sorry, I'm just like super excited about this. But if you did enjoy the video, please like, comment and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next upload. Peace.